Hi, my name is Deanne Akers and welcome to Canada Abroad. A lot of people wondered is what we do here at Canada Abroad and it's actually a great question. If you've never looked into immigrating before, never researched it, you might not know where to start or what it is that we can help you with. So today I'm going to explain to you a little bit about the process and the different programs available. So to start off with, I am what's called a regulated Canadian immigration consultant. What that means is that I'm actually recognized by the Canadian government and I'm authorized to assist people with their applications for immigration to Canada. The first thing that we do is we help people understand if they qualify to go to Canada. So whether you're looking to visit, work, study or immigrate permanently, we can assist you. Typically, we start off with our free online assessment. So we allow people to give us all the details that are required to do an assessment of their credentials and their background, and then we provide them with free feedback of which program it is they would qualify for. Then from there, if the individual wants more advice or an in-depth consultation, then we can do that with them. We offer a variety of services. We do the consultations, the free assessments. We can do the full application for you from start to finish, all application forms, doing any online payments, assisting you with any educational credential assessments or booking of language tests. We can do file reviews. We can basically assist you with anything that you need or any help that you need at any stage of the process. So the next question that we get the most is, what do I qualify for? How can I move to Canada? So there are a lot of different options available. There's what's called provincial programs, there's federal programs, there's temporary residency, there's permanent residency. So it would all depend on your background, if you have a job offer, your qualifications, are you married, are you single, do you want to live in a specific province, are you open to any province in Canada. So those are the types of things that we would look at on the free assessment. Just a broad overview of the most popular programs that are out there at the moment, uh, the main one being the Federal Skilled Worker Program. So a lot of people right now are getting confused as to what express entry is. They think that it's actually the immigration program itself. But in order to apply to be in the express entry pool, you actually need to qualify in one of the four immigration programs that uses the system. So you would need to either qualify as a federal skilled worker, which is actually based on a points system. So they look at your age, your education, your language level, either English or French, what they call adaptability, so that's if you have family members in Canada, if you've worked or studied in Canada before, or if you have a spouse who's fluent in English or French, and they'll also look at your years of work experience. The work experience, however, needs to be in what's called a skilled occupation. So they designate this as an occupation which is classified as O, A, or B. So you would actually need to refer to a certain diagram and figure out if your occupation is on that list. That's something that we also assist people in figuring out. Next is the Federal Skilled Trades Program. So for this one, you would need to either have a job offer from a Canadian employer, or you would need to have a Canadian trades test or qualification. So even if you have a trades test or qualification in another country, it wouldn't necessarily make you eligible. You would need to apply to the province in Canada that you want to work or live in to see if you can challenge the test and if your qualifications are recognized. So that's another program that we would be able to assist you in seeing if you can meet the qualifications. The next one is the Canadian Experience class. So this is for people who have previously lived and worked in Canada on legal status for at least a year. So if you haven't met that requirement, then this program would not be for you. The next one is what's called the provincial nominees. So if you have been selected by a specific province, you would be a provincial nominee. So you could maybe be already working, living or studying in that province. And there's a program specific to them to continue to live in that specific province. If you are selected by a Canadian province, you need to actually live and work there as you've been selected by them. So this would not be a federal program. Now, each of these programs has quite a few different requirements that you would need to meet and different documents involved. So we're actually gonna address all of those issues in a separate video. 
This is just to give you a basic overview. So next is a lot of people want to know if they can just go and work in Canada. The first step to working in Canada is actually to find a job offer from a Canadian employer. And then depending if you're exempt or not, you would need to get what's called a labor market impact assessment. Essentially what that means is the employer was not able to find a Canadian to do the job, and that's why they're looking outside of Canada. Um, only people who might be exempt from a labor market impact assessment is certain occupations such as clergy, if you are being transferred from one branch to another, so branch in your home country is transferring you to the Canadian branch, and if you maybe are a spouse of someone already working or studying in Canada. So again, each one of those has its own specifications, which we will address in a separate video. If you want to study in Canada, the first thing is that you need to be accepted into a Canadian educational institution. So if you haven't already been accepted, you wouldn't be able to put forward a application for a study permit. You also need to make sure that you can meet all of the financial requirements for your tuition and living expenses for yourself and then any accompanying family members. So again, that's a program with its own rules, regulations, and we're going to address it in a separate video as well. So for anyone who's looking for assistance in finding out if they're qualified for any of the programs mentioned here or any of the other programs, there's quite a few that we haven't mentioned, such as family class, for example. So there are a lot of different options available, but the first step is to complete our free assessment to see if we can assist you with something and there is something that you would qualify for. So we're going to put the free assessment in the link below and you can simply click on there and then we will get back to you within 24 to 48 hours with your different immigration options. Also, feel free to contact us directly if you have any questions or queries or you just want to speak to somebody and not get an automated answer. Thank you.